today. Overwatch finally figured out how to be fun. Thank God they're putting a stop to that. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint. Spring is in the air. And on the ground. And in our lungs. Oh, wait, no, that's microplastics. Oh. This story is tangentially related to gaming in that it involves Discord, the go-to voice chat app for gamers everywhere, if only by its ubiquity rather than its quality, and loot boxes, another thing gamers tolerate. It was April 1st earlier this week, and Discord's hilarious goof in observance of Internet Lies Day was to announce the introduction of Discord loot boxes. Honestly, a good-natured and fairly tame prank with some interface support to back it up, that allowed users to unlock some time-limited cosmetic items, including one that let you proudly proclaim yourself an absolute clown for interacting with these boxes at all. But as it turns out, that wasn't the funniest part. That was all Discord had intended. But the best comedy is unexpected, and this had to do with a short 18-second promotional video for the event that automatically played when users logged into the Discord client. And kept playing, hidden in the background, for as long as the app was open. This is important because the video was an embedded YouTube upload, meaning that Discord has now inadvertently broken the record for fastest viewership climb, gaining 1.4 billion views in its first 24 hours. And the extra funny part is that because it was so short and embedded, Discord obviously did not enable monetization, so they presumably just cost YouTube a ton of money. And an April Fool's to you all. In news that nobody expected, WayForward is bringing the Rose and Camellia games to Switch in North America. Now, if you're beige, that means something to you, but since you're not, I'm here to provide context. The Rose and Camellia games are cult classics that got their start as browser-based Flash games, but there is little hope they're ever going to get translated into English, let alone voice acted. Why? Well, Rose and Camellia is about the struggle of the common born against the nobility and life or death battles of etiquette. And it's also a game where two women beat the ever-loving bejesus out of each other. Rose and Camellia is the story of Reiko, whose husband dies and leaves her to climb the social authority ranks in the household by slapping the shit out of her husband's family members to eventually become Grand Matriarch. And that's only game one. There are five games in this collection, one of which is the crossover with La Mulana, which makes perfect sense because both series are produced by Japanese indie studio Nigoro. And the Switch versions have motion control so you can really get your aggression out. It's like fitness boxing, except you'll be fitness hand across their classist mouths. In more news from Internet Lies to You Day, Overwatch 2 decided to have a bit of fun with some silly but functional updates to their game. Not in competitive modes, of course, because those people are without humor. But other players got to enjoy changes such as Brigitte is now 1.5 times her usual size, or the hero Ilari is now literally solar powered, as in gets bonuses on maps where the sun is up. Mercy's staff does a bunch more things, which is handy because her gun is just gone, and Torbjorn's turrets stick to anything, including himself and others. The developer comments are equally unhinged, such as, quote, We're preparing to retcon Wrecking Ball into a crab. Hope these changes are sufficiently immersive, because they've increased his sideways movement speed by 55%. Anyway, you got a few more days to poke around with these new changes, which, in the past, have resulted in one or two actual gameplay changes, and hopefully will be enough to distract you from the pricing on Overwatch's Cowboy Bebop collaboration, which is $25 for these skins? Each? One might assume that with all the April Fool's jokes going around, news would be thin on the ground this week. And you'd be right, so we have quick points. First up, it wasn't an April Fool's joke, it was just a dog bed. But launching dangerously close to April 1st, it's Squex Pets, a whole shop that sells Square Enix branded pet toys and accessories. The line boasts that Tetsuya Nomura worked to supervise item creation, which I'm sure just actually means was somewhere near the intern in charge of slapping the Dragon Quest step and repeat on a template sent over by the manufacturer. But that's fine, because you can get a tiny buster sword for your tiny dog. 
if the products ever make it to market, that is. The website, which lists all the items as coming soon, also features a fairly prominent warning at the bottom that reads, all products are under development. Depending on the development status, there is a possibility that the product will not be sold, which is the kind of non-committal tone I'm looking for in pet accessories. And next, Wordle is going to run out of words, eventually. So the New York Times team has been making plans that could see them reusing words or adding plural or past tenses, which I'm sure people are going to be totally normal about. But don't worry too much, they still have 2,300 words in the bank. That's six years left in their database. And that's plenty of time for us to make up a bunch of new five-letter slang terms and have them absorbed into the lexicon. Squibble! And finally, speaking of things that will never die, Atari, the desiccated husk of a gaming brand currently being worn by French company Infogrames, is bucking market trends and is in the midst of a bit of a spending spree. Over the past year, they've been snapping up IP rights to classic series like Berserk, Armor Ambush, and Star Strike, and they spent $10 million on Night Dive Studios, which are known for their ports and remasters of classic and already divested Atari titles. And now they've rebought Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 for $7 million, which is a fair premium over the $5.99 the game usually sells for on Steam. This is, of course, the publishing rights, which game developer Frontier Developments owned separately from all of the other Roller Coaster Tycoon games due to a long and complicated dispute over royalties that dates back to 2005. I can't wait to see Atari sell all this off at fire sale prices in the next few years and then see which company gets to wear the skin suit next. That skin suit's got to be getting raggedy at this point. Well, Infogrames has had it for quite a while now, so I'm sure they've put lotion on the skin. I don't see why Embracer Group acquired the hose three years ago. Ooh, that might be up for sale soon. Coming up, NASA wants everyone to see the upcoming solar eclipse, and if you don't live in its path, you can tune in on April 8th instead and watch streamers playing eclipse versions of Minecraft and Fortnite. That's right, Cowards No More Epic Games has finally put the literal moon into Fortnite. <laughs> There's a new speedrun category in Stardew Valley thanks to the latest yes. patch update. It's how fast can you drink mayonnaise? Sorry, how quickly from the start of the game can you get to downing <laughs> a thing of mayonnaise? Not how quickly can you drink. You can drink mayonnaise That's now. probably a Guinness World Record, though. Oh. Apparently, Paul was telling me there's been a lot of debate uh, amongst the fandom uh, about whether or not you should be allowed to drink mayonnaise. You, you, can, should, you can drink mayonnaise. You should, no, it's thick. You should eat mayonnaise. It's the texture of pudding. Yeah. Oh. But you, I mean, drink really thick milkshakes. Yeah, but that's not the same as mayonnaise. No. Mm. Mayonnaise has that emulsion from the egg. Yeah. Anyway, that's gross. May mayonnaise gogurt. <laughs> the other funny one that um, uh, Paul had flagged was it's a crossover event between Final Fantasy fourteen and 16 right yes because there's character like outfits and stuff and storylines that reference final Clive fantasy is there. 16 are now in final fantasy 14 and it's really cold in here okay because the door is shut and the ac is going because graham is hot so yep. surprise i had a blanket on my lap the whole time oh no it's me it's true it's me i'm that guy crossover between final fantasy 14 and 16 it's just it's challenging to read because the, the Roman numeral annotations are XIV and XVI. <laughs> so it's just a little difficult to keep straight. Apparently, Final Fantasy 16 was fun, but I feel like Final Fantasy 16 was definitely like not the Square Enix game that everybody's been jazzed to play. That was Final Fantasy 7 2, mm -hmm. which is I, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of like have a lot as i've been saying on the show recently i have a lot of like small nit there's a lot of nitpicks but broadly speaking i am enjoying the game talking about the 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 april fools thing i i kind of like that the that's the the square enix dog beds and yeah and things came out april 4th 
Like that came out like today. Yeah. Yeah. It's like one, this isn't an April Fool's thing, and also we don't think We're this serious. is th- we don't think this is silly, so it should be cut brought out on April first. But actually, like a serious thing. We don't want to confuse people. Yeah, we don't want to confuse people. This is a very serious proposition. This is our serious <laughs> Squex Pets offering. For, I will say for Nomura, a tiny Buster sword for your dog. Nomura did draw the logo, which is Kate Sith and Red Thirteen sitting together. It is pretty adorable. It's very adorable. Hey, there's one of my nitpicks actually about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yeah. Kate Sith is the cat. Right? Yeah. Everyone in I, the game yeah. calls red 13 a dog they talk to him like he's a dog and they even get in instances where he's not just called your pet because people just assume people have never seen one of these animals so they talk to the party like yeah and and your pet can can sleep in the barn or whatever um they they refer to him like a dog but he acts like a cat like he'll growl at people like a dog but the way that he moves and like grooms and stuff is very cat-like he's also got a cat-like face i think but it might be that we're broken from looking at maine coons who have big muzzles uh, i hadn't thought about that we see cats with big faces that's true well he certainly doesn't look like a persian that's very true i don't know i guess i guess it's supposed to be that he's a dog and kate says it's a cat but uh, i'm not getting know. i'm not getting dog vibes off it and kate sith is a Yes, which spoilers, uh, which uh, has not yet been revealed in my playthrough of the game. Oh. I can't wait to see how Penelope reacts. Penelope's gonna have her mind blown. Well, we were... she, she's she's gonna go in fresh on who that actually is. Yeah, we were talking to some ghosts recently, and one of them uh, sort of looked at Kate in the game and looked at Kate Sith and was like, hmm, "I don't know about you, Hollow One. I, I don't know if I can trust you." And Penelope was like, "Why?" Why do you call Kate Sith Hollow One? And I was like, well, you'd have to keep watch. You'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. It's called foreshadowing child. <laughs> I was going to make some segue to leaving. But before I do that, I want to remind everybody, of course, about the Patreon. Patreon.com slash loading ready run. A thank you. And also that um, we did a YouTube update video on the main channel, loading ready run. And uh, talking about a bunch of stuff that we've been doing recently and that we will be doing in the future. Uh, And one of the things is that we've activated YouTube memberships across all of our channels. So memberships now exist on this very channel. And um, because all of our stuff is already free, there's no like sort of added perk, (laughs) like, like YouTube obliges us to add. So it's a, it's a shout out system. So basically monthly uh, after checkpoint, There'll be a thank you uh, screen for anyone who happens to be a member uh, of this channel. Which, by the way, especially if you're already supporting us somewhere else, like the Patreon or a membership on the main channel or on the Twitch, don't feel obliged to, like, move it here. Mm -mm. Certainly don't feel obliged to add anything. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, But if you only interact with Checkpoint, hello, and you're still watching... Hi. Probably should have led with this. uh, You can now join a channel membership here on this very channel. Yay. Yeah. We will not really advertise this very much, as is our purview. It's 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 there if you want it. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of how we operate here. Okay, bye.